Okay, I'm building another uh, mini vise, one of those Wilton vices from the Czech Republic. There's the vise. We're using a pan of it, pan of vice base. This is a 400 series base, pan of vice 400. Supposedly could support about 75 pounds, has a one inch hole in it. Swivels both directions, up, down, you know, 360 type of thing, right? Building this for about $130. We got a chunk of stainless, about three quarters of an inch thick. That's what's going to end up being. Just like before, four inch around. Some hex stock, brass hex stock, uh, 11 sixteenths, I think it is, across the flats. Make some nuts out of that. This is a chunk of a one inch W1 drill rod. We're going to, it's going to be attached on there. Some three quarter by five sixteenths uh, copper flat bar for the vice jaws. And we have uh, some chopped off copper bolts, half inch 13, about two inches long. This is just some scrap. Three of those. Off to the machines. Okay, we don't need this. We're going to strip off the bottom right off. That's all we'll need. Some stainless tube I had left over from my truck keys. We're going to use that. We're going to just take a little bit off the outside to get the right size to fit the base. All I need to go down to about there. But we'll, we'll look at to clean up the tube anyway, because it's really not perfectly, it's not real nice and round, it's on the outside exactly. Good on this side, we're going to flip it over and do the same thing. This side's just going to get a face, and we're going to put a little hole in the middle for the tube because we're going to weld that in. We're in the middle with it and we're going to we're just going to be putting two holes 3 8 16 and I'm just drilling them through. That's going to sit there and we're going to weld it in.
And somebody asked me how I put the logo on the top of that nut, right, that I made. I screwed a stud into the table of the X-Carve. 3816, that's what I got in this nut. Screw this on. Nice and tight. And I kind of align it a little bit. Oops. And I have my diamond engraving here and it's spring loaded. Now I have a 10 degree angle on the top of that, but it's not too much uh, for that. And being spring loaded, it has pretty much the same tension all the way around. And it works really well. So this is how I put the, put the logo in the top. There we go. Does a very nice job. So here's what we ended up with. Our two uh, nuts, our two copper studs, or a third copper stud for the ground. So those, uh, that's going to get a couple of copper nuts even. We'll throw those on there. So this is all stainless, welded. That slips right on in the device. This is uh, the mount. The pan of ice, 400 mount, about 38 bucks, I think it was, uh, on uh, Amazon. Our vise goes right on. I even throw a couple little copper washers underneath there that I had laying around. There we go. Finished vice. I think it came out well. Uh, this is a really, I think, uh, real good option. Uh, instead of buying a real expensive uh, mount, this mount's fine. You can get it, you know, any position. Uh, I think I might make a nicer, nice, nicer knob for it. But uh, for a one-day build, uh, that's all. It, all it took me was well, yeah, about three quarters of a day really. It didn't even take all day. Uh, we still need to do the copper jaws, uh, so I didn't do those yet. But anyway, the mount uh, part works really great, and we got our ground stud, and I think that uh, my son will like that for uh, welding. He's gonna. He saw my video. Well, there's the complete advice, copper jaws. That's another alternative uh, for a small vise on a, a mount. This is uh, this is a pretty good little setup, really. Anyway, thanks you guys. There's a quick one for you.